It's your girl, Lexi Wilson, coming at you live here on TikTok. I am so excited to be talking about today's topic because we're talking about how to manifest your dream job. The reason why I want to talk about this is because so many of us struggle with working at jobs that we absolutely hate and we wish that we could find something that we loved and we're out here putting in the work, doing the things that we're trying to do, putting in applications and not having much luck. So how do we actually go about achieving, getting the jobs that we dream of, getting the jobs that feel good? Well, that's what we wanna talk about today. So I'm not gonna to take too much of your time. I'm gonna hop right on in. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments below because I would love to support you in teaching you how to manifest your own dream job. So the first thing that I wanna encourage you to do is to visualize, no, not visualize, First, define what it is that you want, because you can't visualize something if you don't know what it is that you want. You first need to define your dream job. So first get specific on what, hi Anika, welcome, come on in, come on in. We're talking about manifesting our dream jobs, because I know it's a struggle out here. For some of us, we are struggling to work these jobs and we're trying to figure out what's the next step. How do we make this happen? Hi, Jamie. Hi, Vivi. Welcome, welcome. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments below. So we're going to be talking about how to manifest that dream job. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to get clear on what is it that you actually want to manifest. And by that, I mean get specific about what's the job, what's the position that you wanna actually manifest? What's the salary range that you're looking for? Because if you don't know what you're looking for, then how will you know what it is once it actually falls into your lap? You have to be very clear, and this is just about manifesting in general, you have to be clear about what it is that you actually want to call into your life. Because it's really difficult to manifest things when you don't know what it is that you want. So first, you have to be clear on defining what is the job that you want? What is the position you want what is the company that you want what is the salary range that you want as specific as the more specific you can get the better hi Abigail welcome welcome we're talking about how to manifest your dream job so the more specific you can get the better it is for you now even if you're like I don't know what kind of company I want to work for you don't have to know the name of the company but what I want to encourage you to do is know the vibe of the company girl do you want to work in some place that's kind of like Google where you get to take naps in the middle of the day do you want to work from home do you want to work in an office where they let you bring your dog in you know like what is the vibe of the place that you're talking about hi freedom love and hi nicole i love your name freedom love so get clear on what is it that you actually vibe with when it comes to your the company that you're looking for the next thing is i want you to visualize success so in order to bring something into your life you have to be very intentional about thinking about the things that you're thinking about Far too many of us spend too much of our time thinking about things that are never going to happen. We spend all this time, hi, Lou Lemon, welcome, welcome, girl, I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> hi, Kelly, thanks so much for the hearts. Oh, Lou, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy you caught me live. So we're talking today about how to manifest that dream job because I know for so many people, the struggle is real. You're working a job that you really don't like and you're trying to find that dream job, you're trying to find that dream place, and so that's what we're talking about. So the first step that you wanna take is you wanna define what is it that you actually want? What is the position that you're looking for? What kind of company are you looking for? Are you looking for a company that lets you work from home? Are you looking for a company that allows you to travel? Are you looking for a company that pays you for traveling? Are you looking for a company that lets you bring your dogs into work? Like, what is the vibe of the company and what are you hoping that maybe that they provide either to you or just in general so first of all that's that's one of the things that um, I want to encourage you to do oh sky welcome yes Ayana welcome welcome oh I'm so excited so many people are here okay so I'm glad that you're loving this conversation if you have any thoughts or questions leave them down in the comments below and let's get these hearts up you guys we got 200 hearts I would love to get to 400 so let's see if we can get to 400 let's like that live if you're enjoying it of course I don't want to force you <laughs> all right so the next thing that you want to do after you've defined the job that you want after you have visualized the success that you want and the reason why you want to visualize and I want to stop here for a second 
the reason why you want to visualize what you want is because so many of us spend so much time visualizing the thing that we're afraid of happening. We're afraid that we're not going to get the job. We're afraid that we're not going to get the pay that we like. We're afraid that it's not going to work out. And when you're fearing that, you're spending all this time visualizing all of the scenarios that might play out. That makes it more likely for not only for you to feel anxious and for you to feel worried, but for you to actually manifest that into your life. So let's not do that. Instead, let's visualize having the job, waking up in the morning, getting your coffee, going to getting in your car, driving to the place, or in my case, mine was all about being at home. <laughs> I wanted to be at home. So I visualize myself walking here into my office. Oh, Lou, love that. Use Pinterest. Use Pinterest. That's a wonderful way to visualize the job that you actually want. And you can create a vision board on Pinterest or in real life, whichever feels most in alignment for you. We just hit 400 likes. Woo! Thanks, ladies. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Can we get to 600? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. But yes, Lou, wonderful um, addition to the conversation is to use Pinterest because Pinterest allows you to actually create boards where you can create your own visualization of the job that you want. What are the outfits that you're going to wear? And I would think about that too. I would think about my little work from home outfits. You know, I would think about my little skims that I was going to wear and all the things. <laughs> so think about that stuff and get clear and visualize it. Spend time visualizing. And when I mean spend time visualizing, I I mean, actually take time to look at that Pinterest board. Actually take time to, no, you guys, we're already at 732 likes. <laughs> you guys, I, I didn't think that we were going to get there. <laughs> I just said 600 because I thought, but you guys are amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Because the more likes that you guys get out here, the more that people will be able to see our live and enjoy this conversation. So thank you so much for this. You guys are literally the best. <laughs> I love you guys so much. So thank you. It really warms my heart. So yeah, we're about to hit 1000, which is even better. So thanks, Sky. Thank Lou. <laughs> thank you, Lou. Okay. So the next thing that I want to encourage you is to use affirmations that you knew I was going to go there. You knew I was going to go there because I got to talk about my affirmations. You guys, you guys, we are spending so much of our day. We have 80,000 thoughts a day and that's just on average. We don't actually know if it's more or if it's less. We just know that we're having a lot of thoughts and most of those thoughts are negative. Most of those thoughts are fear based and anxious based. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we actually take time to intentionally think positively about the things that we want to call into our life. If you're trying to manifest your dream job, you're not going to manifest it by thinking negatively. So what instead I want you to do is I want you to intentionally think positively about the jobs that you want to actually manifest and think and then speak over it, speak into it. I see I got a comment from Lou. She said, okay, I do my affirmations with everything, even down to stirring my coffee. And that's a loop. Lou, me and you, girl, we're on the same page because listen, you can literally what one of my best friends, what she does is she uses like affirmations water. And what she does is she speak speaks affirmations into her water and then she drinks it. Listen, I'm not here to judge. I'm here to inspire. <laughs> and if that works, then it works. And I think that that's a great thing to do. So, yes, stir those affirmations into your coffee, girl. I don't know why I said that in such a straight New York accent. I'm originally from New York <laughs> and sometimes it just pops out. But anyways, so I want you to affirm the job that you want. I want you to speak over the capabilities that you have instead of thinking, oh man, I've never been good at a job. I never get the salary that I want. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the job that I'm looking for. No, 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 no. We want to speak life over the thing that we want. So instead it's, I, I got the job. I'm so excited instead it's I got the salary that I'm looking for or I got even better than what I was looking for it's speaking I'm so capable of working the job that I that I dream of it's speaking over in these really realistic kind of phrases and one of the things that you can do is you can actually take the negative things that you say and flip them if you can take the negative things that you say and flip them into something positive then you are going to create affirmations that allow you to manifest the thing that you want now 
that is me oversimplifying that process, like so oversimplifying it. So inside of my book called Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life, which is absolutely free, DM me mindset and I'll send it to you because inside of my book, I actually go into further depth about how to flip the script when it comes to your manifestations and affirmations. So if you really struggle with this, then I want to encourage you to DM me mindset and I'll support you in learning how to reframe your affirmations so that way your negative thoughts become the affirmations. Your negative thoughts can become the, the inspiration for your affirmations. Lou says, I feel that with my Southern drawl. <laughs> Sometimes it comes out, girl. It just comes out and we don't know what to do. Okay. The next thing that I want to encourage you to do is network. Okay. Listen, manifesting and sitting here going, oh, and doing all that stuff and scripting it out and writing the affirmations. I love all that shit. I love it. But let me tell you something. You have to also get your butt out there. You cannot expect to manifest something if you're not actually going to do the work. So you have to do the work. Hi, Cassandra. Welcome. Come on in. You have to do the work, which means you have to network. You have to get your applications out there. You have to get your resume out there. You have to get your cover letter and actually change it so we it look Looks like you specifically want that type of job. I know. Hi, Megan. Thank you so much for the diamonds. I didn't even know that you could even send that. <laughs> but what I want to encourage you to do is to intentionally change your cover letters, change your resume so it matches the job that you're looking for, because that's how you're going to actually manifest the job. I'm telling you, manifestation is wonderful. And of course, we want to use that. But we also want to utilize common sense. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know? <laughs> Okay, so the next thing is to apply mindfully. So let's see. Um, wait, Megan says, hey, I found you years ago on IG through Kelly, and it's great to see you here. Kelly is my best friend. I love that you found me through Kelly. Well, Megan, thank you so much for stopping by. <laughs> I really love that you found me through Kelly because she is the most amazingest person ever. So I love that you found me through her. So that's how I know that I definitely like you too, Megan. <laughs> Thank you for liking the live. You guys were at 2,000 likes. Oh, Jewel, thank you so much. I love it. Yes, and Jesse. Yes, we love Jesse. <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm so excited. We have a lot of friends here. Oh, what was that? <laughs> that was awesome. Megan Energy just got the number one gifter badge. Yes, we love that. We love that. Well, thank you so much, you guys, for all these wonderful um, things. These are freaking awesome. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. So what you want to do is you want to network. You want to make sure that you get your butt out there, that you go to networking events, that you get on LinkedIn, that you get on even Facebook groups. Connect with people. Connect with your friends. Many times you're going to find a job through your network. It's through your friends that you're going to find this work. And I know that's my secret weapon. Honestly, that's been my secret weapon for years is connecting with my friends and being like, hey, guys, I'm looking for an opportunity. If you know anything, please let me know because I'm interested in a job, whatever it is, like reaching out to people will help people to, um, remember you and then, then go like, Oh, well, Lexi's looking for a job, right? So you want to use, utilize your network in order to bring yourself into a work. Number five is I want you to apply mindfully. Now, here's the thing. I know that it is tempting. It is so tempting to apply to jobs by using the same resume and the same damn cover letter. I know. But you can't do that <laughs> because it's going to give it's going to give a red flag. What you want to do is you want to look at the job description. You want to take out some of the keywords that are in the job description. And then here's the little secret. You want to put those things in your resume. You want to go through each of your jobs and you want to be specific about what specifically about this job makes you perfect for the next job. Right. So if I'm looking at like a social work job, that's what I did before in the past. Right. So as a social worker, what I'm going to do is what they want to know is do I have the ability to be in in dangerous situations what they want to know is do I am I a people person what they want to know is am I great with documentation so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look for where I was great at documentation where I was a people person where I was able to to stand up for myself in situations that might be a little bit dangerous and then put that into my resume in addition I'm gonna look at the job description and see what are they looking for and then look at my resume 
to see where is in my resume do I already have those talents in there it's just not worded the exact same the reason why you want to do that is because one if AI or anything like that is looking at your computer it's going to look at those keywords and looking at your resume I mean it's gonna look at those keywords and be able to identify it and go oh this she belongs here she belongs here and then if it actually is a recruiter that's looking at it again they're going to see that you have specifically stopped to look at the the affirm not the affirmation to look at the actual re res job description and then tailor your resume to that okay yes oh lou if your dream job isn't out there be brave and then create it 1000% that's exactly what I did too that's why I became a coach because I knew that I wanted to be a certain type of coach and in order to do that I was gonna have to create it so Lou and we already know you out here doing big things girl you doing big things <laughs> okay and then the last thing that I want to encourage you to do is trust the process you have to trust the process so even though you have defined the job that you want You've put yourself out there, you've networked, you've applied for different jobs, you've visualized, you've affirmed. At some point, you have to just let it go and trust that the universe is going to support you and show up for you. You have to trust that the universe is going to show up in its perfect timing with the perfect salary job, the perfect job that you're looking for. Because yes, you are co-creating with the universe, but that means that the universe also is working in tandem with you. The you know one part of the story, but the universe knows the other part. And so now you're working together to find this dream job. And I know that it is so tempting to give up. Like when I was looking for my dream job that I now officially have, it took months to get this job and I felt so discouraged because I really wanted the job. But eventually it was when I started to say, you know what, no matter what happens, I'm going to be okay and I'll find whatever works. The minute that I did that, that same week, they gave me the job. And it was because I gave up. I stopped trying to control the outcome and I trusted the process. I trusted that the universe was going to provide that job for me and when it was, when it was time for the job to be provided. Okay, so Lou says, I do have huge news. I have a meeting tomorrow with a possible investor. Oh my gosh. Well, congratulations, girl. We are definitely sending you all the love to make this happen because you are doing some amazing things. So sending you all the love, sending you likes <laughs> and manifestation powers. Yes, Megan says, yes, when we release control, it all happens as it should. Exactly. You have to release control because if you don't release control, what ends up happening is you hold so tightly to the thing that you actually end up releasing it from your fingers. So instead, you want to let it go. You want to trust that the universe will be able to support you and provide for you in the time that it needs to be provided. And in the meantime, what you're going to do is you're going to act as if your manifestation has already arrived. So one of the ways that I did this was I knew that the job would have me working from 745 to 3 345 Monday through Friday. So you know what I started doing? I started going to bed early and waking up. I had waking up earlier in the morning so I can get to the gym because I like to work out first thing in the morning. So if I have to work out at seven, if I have to be at work at 745, that means I need to be at the gym by six or 630. So I have to, and that's just me. That's just me. So you don't have to do that part. <laughs> but I knew that if I started to act as if I already had the job, the job was going to come and guess what that's exactly what happened hi colleen thank you so much for following me welcome come on in girl come on in i create all these videos talking about how to manifest how to manifest your dream job how to manifest your dream partner how to manifest your dream life that's what i'm all about so definitely follow me i'm so happy that you've decided to do that now I want to remind you guys that I know that this is tough. I know that it can be really tough to have faith, to, to, to really hold on. And this is why I have my free book called Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. And inside my free book, I show you exactly how to use your thoughts to manifest the things that you want. We have 4,000 likes, Lou. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. All these follows and these likes. There's four of you here. That's amazing. And I'm so grateful that you guys are taking time out of your day to spend it with me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as I can. But yes, if you struggle right now with manifesting, what I want to encourage you to do is DM me mindset. 
DM me mindset, the words mindset, and I'll send you a free copy of my book, Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life, where I'll show you how to actually manifest using the power of your thoughts. And why is this important? This is important because I know that when you're trying to manifest your dream job, the struggle can sometimes be believing that you can even get the dream job, right? You're you're sitting here going, okay, Lexi, I hear you. This is this sounds all grand and dandy and all that, mm-hmm, girl. But honey, I don't even think I can get that dream job, right? I don't even think it's possible for me. I've never even seen something like that. Nobody has a dream job out here, but now you know somebody that does. Now you know somebody that does, girl. You know you know somebody. Ah! <laughs> okay, but I do have that dream job. I love my job. It is absolutely amazing. And this didn't happen by mistake. It happened by manifestation. It happened by an intention. It happened by trusting in the universe. And you can, it happened by affirmation. So I want to encourage you guys to check out my book. Again, DM me mindset. If you haven't already checked out the book, it's absolutely fantastic. I poured my heart and soul into this and the reason why it's free is because I'm a former social worker and I remember back in the day when I was really trying to change my life and I didn't have the money to be able to hire a coach one of the things that I knew that I wanted to do was be able to provide a free service to people who really want to change their lives but they have to start at that level of free so DM me mindset if you need a copy of the book and I would love to get that in your hands so all right Lou let's see what she has to say and then I'm gonna pop off here Lou says I have found people have so many ideas sometimes it clutters the vision and to simplify is better but leave open-ended to be bigger than you envisioned yes yes that's why one of the things that you want to say when you're manifesting is this or something better you want to say this or something better because at the end of the day you don't actually know if the universe has something much better planned for you than what you have in your mind right because your mind is limited you only think about what's in front of you or what you've already seen but the universe can show you even better and bigger things so that's why when you say your prayers or when you say your affirmations what you want to say is thank you universe i would like this or something better i would like this particular job with this particular salary at this particular company this or something better all right everyone i'm so grateful for you thank you lou for sending me all these likes we hit four we hit wait 4300 likes which is amazing and i'm so appreciative of all four of you who are here because it means so much to me that you spent some time with me i really hope that this inspired you and gave you some inspiration on how to find your dream job if you have any questions at all don't be afraid to dm me and i'll be sure to make some more content around it or to answer your questions right in the dms all right everyone have a wonderful day bye